Isaiah chapter 5 verse 18. Woe unto them that draw iniquity with cords of vanity and sin as it were with a chart rope. That say, let him make speed and hasten his work that we may see it. And let the counsel of the Holy One of Israel draw nigh and come that we may know it. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. Brakatai Yahawa, Brakatai Yahawa Shai, Brakatai Yahawa, Brakatai Yahawa Shai, Brakatai Yahawa, Brakatai Yahawa Shai. Call Halal La Yahawa Bashim Yahawa Shai. All right, that's Hebrew for interpret. Bless Yahawa, bless Yahawa Shai. All praises to the Father, Yahawa, in the name of the Son, Yahawa Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right. So you see it on your screen. This is the movie star Malik Yoba, which is a longtime actor who've been playing in a bunch of movies, man. All right. Who I basically grew up off of, grew up off of. I can't even speak. It's like it. Who I basically grew up off of. All right. And um, he played in many movies I could recall. And as I uh, reflect on the movies he played in every movie he played in and the kind of character he played was always this manly man you know someone that a you know a young man could look up to all right someone that you know a man that had dignity you know he played those roles man all right and um here in 2019 okay we in what the what's this the second uh day of September all right, I saw this post on a YouTube feed from a subscriber, and I had to look it up, man. I had to see, was it true? So it says, Empire star Malik Yoba reveals he's a man who loves trans women. All right, and um, also, this brings me in remembrance of an article I read, which I believe it was the beginning of this year, or it was last year. And also, the brother in the camp, the brother Naposh, he knows... Uh, he read the same article. He read the same article the same week when it came out. And in the article, it was basically saying that they were going to start forcing tr uh, straight men to date trans women. OK, and if you don't know what a trans woman is, that's a transsexual. OK, a man biologically. All right. Born with a te with testicles and a rod. OK. He what? became a transsexual. He he turned himself into a, a, a woman, all right? He went and got the boobs. He went and cut off his rod, you know? He took estrogen pills, and he believes in his mind that he's a woman, and he's not, okay? The Most High made two genders, male and female. Anything else besides that is your, is, is your preference. That's not officially, uh, you know, normal, okay? Should I say? And, you know, they're these Edomites, all right, that push these laws, they're making it a norm. They're forcing it upon everyone, okay? Now, this place, America, is known in the scriptures as Babylon the Great, okay? And what's that, Revelations 11 and 8? Matter of fact, I'm going to get that real quick before I go read a little bit of the article. This is uh, Revelations chapter 11 and verse 8. It says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. That great city is talking about America. Okay. It says, which is spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. All right. Because why is it spiritually? Because obviously it's not the physical land. Okay. In which Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about that carried on that vow spirit of homosexuality. OK, and it's not actually the land of Egypt. OK, in which uh, we still have today. And of course, you had um, the history where um, uh, the children of Israel was delivered out of Egypt because they were in bondage. It says which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt because America is spiritually Sodom all over again. 
the spirits that rest in Sodom and eat Sodom and Gomorrah and those cities is the same spirits that's back here today. All right. And Egypt represents the bondage, the captivity that the Israelites were in. So guess what? We're in bondage all over again. All right. For the last time. And it says where also our Lord was crucified because this land, when we was brought here, all right, they took away from us our identity. They took away our history. Okay, we did we don't know the Lord. Now they're preaching Jesus Christ. They taught us uh that character of uh Serapis Christus, or you can say Cesare Borgia, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay, they taught us that. But in all reality, the Bible teaches of Yahweh Shai, which is his true Hebrew name. Okay, so you know, with that being said, let me read a little bit of the article. It says the act that dispels dispels myths about straight and transgender love. So now you got men, okay, that was thought to be masculine men. Look at him. He got his beard on his face. All right. You know, in the movies he played, he was masculine. He's coming out and and basically striving to argue about um, this uh, so-called confusion. There's really is no confusion. It is. It's really no confusion because if you was born as a boy, a man, then that's what you are. If you was born as a woman, that's what you are. If you change your sex, that doesn't change the fact of you was genetically DNA born as that gender, no matter what they do, you know. But because of Esau and the feminine, the feminization, if I may say, uh, across this world or here in Babylon, mainly, you know, the feminine, the 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 men that's you know been demasculated, you know, if 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 I'm saying that right, this world is wicked, man. This is a wicked society, man. It says Malik Yoba is coming out as a straight man who is attracted to women, of course, okay. It says and that he does not differentiate between sex gender and transgender women. It says in an Instagram post the actor who you love recognize from his long strits on New York Undercover, Empire, and some of your favorite Tyler Perry movies, shares his thoughts about love and attraction, dispelling a number of myths and bias in the process. I love all women and count myself among those that find themselves trans attracted. And I, too, have felt the same impulse shame that comes with that truth. But it's time to speak up. You hear this, man? All right. This man is clearly a confused nut, man. OK. You know, just because he has fame, just because, you know, he's known doesn't make, you know, um, him to push or him to to to. Uh, be in a league with that type of sexual preference, you know, doesn't make it right. You know, just like the government passing laws for homosexuality, that doesn't make homosexuality right. Okay? You know, there's nothing um nothing uh healthy about that. It says um it says uh shame that comes with the truth. Uh he captions under a video of men bullying a man who said he has sex with trans women. It is not about genitalia or sex, but about attraction to the soul and humanity of an individual. All right. And he's talking about this video here, which brothers, I'm pretty sure y'all saw it went viral. And this man here with the hat and the headphones in his ear was, uh, you know, you know, was being, um, uh, in an argument with these with these other boys because he was admitting that he loved trainees because it's not normal. All right. <laughs> it's not normal. He was making it seem like it's a, it's, it's normal. It's not. Now, I'm going to jump the article. Your brothers can read this. You can just dig it up and come up. And I'm going to read some of these comments here. Not the whole comment, but it shows you how the support of these idiotic. I'm not going to call nobody names. This. <sighs> It says, Dear King at uh, Malik, uh, Malik Yoba, thank you so much for having your courage and strength to speak your truth and so many other black men's truth. 
so many other black men's truth. This is not my truth. <laughs> it's crazy. It says with their attraction to trans women and the struggles you all have to deal with. You see, it's always going to be troubles. It will never be a norm. OK, um, another one. Shout out to Malik Yoba for putting it out there that he's attracted to trans women. Much respect. I know that has to be hard. He's not alone, though. Trans women are so damn beautiful. It says, I freaking knew Malik Yoba uh, was an ultimate supporter, but damn, I was always a fan. F his acting anyway. But the stand he taken now means so much more. Thank you, Malik Yoba, for speaking out in the support of our trans women. Someone needs to do an article on what Malik Yoba just said. It's a long time coming and so many high profile men are attracted to trans women, just like any other kind of woman. <laughs> we knew to get rid of the shame associated with loving us. It's time to speak up. Li uh, lives are at stake. <laughs> Yo, I can't, man. I can't. I'm laughing to stop from being so angry, man. Uh, hold on. I think it was one more. Uh, Malik, yeah, listen to this. Malik Yoba out here showing y'all what healthy masculinity and compassion looks like. Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> oh, man, yo, the Lord is going to smoke this place, man. He's going to smoke this place. Uh, let me read a few, few uh, scriptures real quick. This is... Uh, Amos chapter 9 verse 8 it says um behold the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom all right and that sinful kingdom today is America okay today is North America all right it says and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob saith the Lord because the Lord has an election who he's going to deliver all right. He's not going to destroy all you so-called Negroes, West Indians and Haitians, Hispanics, Native Seminole Indians. All right. He's numbered two thirds. OK. To the sword. And he's numbered. All right. One hundred and forty four thousand men, 12,000 of each tribe. OK. And then you have one third, which are going to consist of women, young men, young girls, you know, you know, the elect, the one third. These are the ones the most high is going to deliver. But the rest is going to be destroyed. He says, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. For lo, I will command and I will shift the house of Israel among all nations because Israel is scattered. It says, like as corn is shifted in a sheave, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. And I know. There's going to be haters. There's going to be those that are wicked. That's going to actually say this after seeing this video. All right. You're going to say that the e no evil shall not overtake nor prevent you. Okay. So you think that the Most High is not going to judge you. Well, I'm going to read judgment. I'm reading judgment. All right. Let me go to the law and get Leviticus chapter 20 and 13. All right. Which is the law. OK, it says if a man also lie with mankind. All right. Just because this man has a sexual uh, uh, he has his sex change. OK, he removed his rod. He grew boobs. He took estrogen pills and, you know, uh, shaved down his Adam's apple and he has a feminine touch. But you still know that's the man. All right. He's, you know. <laughs> You're still laying down with a man in the eyes of the Lord. OK, you're not fooling the most high. <laughs> you just you just uh, fooling yourself. OK, to believe in a lie. So it says if a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. All right. Now, these are the words of the most high. OK. So if you're going to get mad, get mad with the Bible, get mad with the most high. He he put this down on law. OK. And just because the government 
uh, write laws against the Bible doesn't make the government right. Okay. <laughs> Let me get uh, Romans. Let's get Romans real quick. Uh, in the New Testament, Romans chapter 1 and 24. Let's start there. It says, uh, let's start at 23. Who It says, nope, let's start at 22. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. So just as you look at Malik Yoba, you know, he was considered a young, uh, well, uh, uh, a wise man, manly in the most movies he played, you know, and I'm pretty sure because he's an actor, because he learned how to memorize scripts and he got the fame, he's considered wise amongst people. So the scriptures say professing themselves to be wise. He thought he's wise about his conscience to come out and state, you know, that, you know, loving or having sexual attraction to a transsexual is OK. He believed that he's wise by doing that and he wants to push that. You know, well, it says they became fools and it says and change the glory of uncorruptible God and change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like uh, made like to corruptible men. OK, so I don't know what Bible he reading or if he believe in the most high or whoever philosophy he's he's living after the scriptures tell you, it says and change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like corruptible men. <laughs> it says, into the birds, into the four-footed beasts and creepy things. Wherefore, the Most High also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. You see that, man? It says, wherefore, the Most High, Yahweh, also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, meaning their minds, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Just because this person, this man wants to act like he's a woman and you lay down with them, you have committed an abomination in the eyes of the Lord. All right. And you know that that's a man. You just you just uh, confusing yourself. I wouldn't even call it confusing. You just tricking you plan on your own mind, all right, because of your sexual desire, all right? It says, who changed the truth of the God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator? Who is blessed forever to walk? For this cause, God gave them up to a vow affections. For even their woman did change the natural use into that which is against nature. So even likewise, women turning themselves over to be men. All right. It's still an abomination if two women are doing it. According to the Bible, verse 27, and likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of a woman burned in their lust one toward another. Men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was me. Meaning you're going to get, judgment is going to come. You're going to get paid back for the actions you have done. All right. This is crazy, man. But, you know, I'm not super, uh, you know, shocked because we all know Hollywood is Holly weird. Okay. All Hollywood and that industry, that rap, that industry of rap music, movie acting, anything that deals with the industry, it all is all some weird sexual preference, man. Some homosexuality going on. You know, in order for you to make it, you got to sell your soul, man. You think this guy ain't been laying down and, and had, had him bent over? <laughs> you think he ain't got on his knees and, 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 you know, blew some, you know what? You better believe it, your favorite actors. Your favorite rappers, your favorite singers, okay? Your favorite TV TV show hosts, all of them, man. The Most High is really, truly, well, well, let me say this. We're truly in a time of revelations, man, of things being revealed straight up and down. Esau himself is being revealed, okay? The, the, the two-thirds of our people are being revealed, okay? The, the Lord's prophets are being revealed, all right? True prophets, I may say. Okay, 
And um, I'm trying to think. I had a few scriptures I lined up. Oh, Deuteronomy 23 and 1. I ended with that one. All right. So let's go there. Um, this is uh, Deuteronomy 23 verse 1. It says, he that is wounded in the stones or have his private members cut off shall not enter into the congregation of Yahweh. Okay. So if when a man goes and cuts his private part off, he can no longer, all right, <laughs> be in the congregation of the Most High. All right. And this is the scriptures. I'm going to read it one more time. Deuteronomy 23 and 1. He that is wounded in the stones or have his private members cut off shall not enter into the congregation of Yahweh. You know, so I hope this lesson was edifying. All right. Malik Yoba reveals he loves men who loves trans women. <laughs> so with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.